Dr. Rich, I'm here with Zaneda, who has done great with Graves and twisted her arm to get her to sit down <laughs> and, and, and chat today. Um, we've been working together now a little over two years, I believe. Yeah, since well, 2016. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and you first came in with Graves. It was a mild case of Graves, and you had responded really well to methimazole, which is one of the frontline medications that's used. But you wanted to see what else you could do not to need the medication and to kind of manage the Graves. And she had done a great job with research on her own, looking into the paleo diet, autoimmune paleo diet. Um, so the autoimmune paleo diet was a diet that we used. We also found some dysbiosis in the gut, namely yeast. And we also used some of the natural compounds that can help with thyroid autoimmunity, which underlies and causes the Graves hyperthyroidism, and also some natural agents that can help to calm down the high levels of thyroid hormones. And you responded beautifully. Yeah. It was, it was uh, a process in its own. Um, before I met you, um, sure. I did a lot of research, obviously, um, and just wanting to f to find um, a more holistic, functional way to treat things rather than the conventional sure. side of things. Sure, um, which I think makes sense, right? Because mm -hmm. methimazole, I think, is a, f a fairly good drug, but. It begs the question, what else could we do besides the methimazole right. to mitigate the need for the methimazole? Right. And you've been off the methimazole now for, what, about six months? Um, yeah, six about months. About six months? Yeah. So now she's been off the methimazole for about six months and also weaned off a good amount of the items in her natural program mm -hmm. and expanded her diet. And that was one of the things we talked about today, was not being afraid of food yeah. and not getting freaked out about the stuff you read on the internet and finding your own tolerant to these different foods based upon your reintroduction. Gluten seems to be the one food, thankfully out of, out of all of them, yeah. the only food that you're really reactive to is gluten, so you're avoiding that. And are there anything else there that you think is noteworthy? Um, I think the big thing is um, just with the, this whole process, just kind of knowing and being more attentive to your body and um, you know, and just planning out the next steps on whether you're reacting to something or how you're feeling, because that's that's huge. Mm -hmm. um, just just being more mindful and knowing uh, what what is re the things that are reacting uh, we are reacting to. Sure. You know, figuring out how to make you feel better. Yeah. Um, and it's and that is that was the biggest process of the, this whole journey. Um, definitely, there's some things that I'm working on, like sleep and hair, obviously. Um, but definitely, this whole journey taught me how to eat better. Um, it's given me better habits on just living life and you know changing my yeah. lifestyle. Yeah, and you make a lot of great points. And I think it is just like you said, important to listen to your body because if you don't listen to your body, then you listen to everyone else, and there's all these dietary restrictions recommended. And so you can just get pulled further and further into dietary restrictions mm -hmm. rather than like you're doing now, which is broadening your diet and figuring out the broadest diet possible. So yeah, I think listening to your, to your body is, is really key. Yeah, and, and then also just keeping in mind that uh, with, with time, your, your body will heal and mm -hmm. you'll get a lot, you know, if things are done right, you'll, you'll improve a lot. And in your case, there's I think one simple thing uh, and we talked about adrenal testing and, and a lot of things that I think are putting the cart before the horse. But right now, the final tweak, at least in my mind, and we'll know this better probably in about three or four weeks, is your carb intake may be a little bit too low. And that may be what's driving your only two lingering complaints, which are getting better with time, but they're not fully kind of getting better, which are waking up early and hair thinning. And that can be caused by graves, but it can also be caused by being too low carb for too long. And so we had to, we had to get the graves right first and, and give your body some time. And now that we're seeing those symptoms lagging, we're, we're, and we discussed today, bringing her carbs up to about 175 to 200 grams a day. And I have a good feeling that that's gonna totally sort out your sleep and your yeah. hair. And I think you're gonna do really well. Yeah, it's definitely the art of fine tuning. Yeah, you know, fortunately, you know, right? there's yeah. the fine-tuning things, which is great. <laughs> definitely. Uh, definitely, it was a slow, you know, uh, things don't happen overnight, um, you know, throughout this whole journey. You know, you see improvements as you go along, um, but you know that you're getting somewhere. Um, yeah. 
and you know the 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 positive side of things is that you'll you'll know yourself better um, just by all things that you're observing um, and you'll feel better too yeah and and just as, as one thing this is a point I'm passionate about I know the audience knows this we did some testing right but yeah would you say we did a lot of testing we didn't yeah. and, no and we didn't need to yeah. right you use testing to kind of get a lay of the land and figure out what some of the key aspects are and that's it you don't need to you know I need to beat you over the head with this constant repeat yeah. testing and a lot of this stuff is is just good clinical horse sense steering the ship mm -hmm. and um, yeah you've done great she's got a beautiful family they were all in here just a few minutes ago um, and I'm, I'm super happy with with how you did and uh, a couple little things we'll, we'll tweak now but I think in a few weeks you'll be pretty much at like 99 percent and I'm really happy for you thank you yeah thank you for taking the time to share this yeah definitely